and welcome to my new guitar nerdery video. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about a good tone and vibrato. When it comes to playing notes with vibrato. I see a lot of guitar players struggle with it. What I consider to be a very common mistake is to play a note with a vibrato like this. For me that sounds like you have lost control over your tone and it sounds like you, you want to hit a mosquito or it, it sounds very nervous and it's just not beautiful. And most of the time the wrong technique is the culprit. Let me show you how you can get good control over your vibrato. What actually is a vibrato? It's simply a string bending. You bend a note slightly out of tune and then release it back to be in tune again. And then the frequency you do these repeats is up to you. You can do it very slow. That's a wider vibrato you can play them a little faster and when you play them repeats too fast you get that mosquito vibrato so you have to do that with taste Besides the frequency, you can also change the sound of the vibrato depending on how far you bend the note out of tune. You can do it slide a little bit. A little wider, a little more extreme. And when you do it too extreme, it starts also not to sound beautiful. So also there you have to do that with taste. And that's where your personality comes in. The way you do this, that is a great trademark of your sound, of your identity. How you sound, how someone recognizes you when you're playing. Guitar players like Gary Moore, you could recognize them, identify them only by two notes playing a vibrato. Uh, it's not necessary to play a lot of notes. Besides all that fun to play shred guitar and these lot of notes stuff, when you have to play one longer note, that is the moment when you have the opportunity to put in all your soul into the music, into the tone with a good vibrato. The main technical mistake you can make is when you want to control your vibrato only with your fingers. Especially when you want to play a, a string bending with vibrato. It would give you a hard time to do that and uh, I find it nearly uncontrollable. The secret lies in you do not control a vibrato out of your fingers, you control it with your whole hand. You, you somehow you shake your hand like this. It's a, it's a slight circular movement. I've read a note here with middle finger, it doesn't matter actually. And then, with the back of my hand, I pull the note. Like this. You can also push it, and, but it's also happening out of your hand. I do not fret the note and try to 
push the note with the middle finger. It's, it's, it's very difficult to control it. And when you play a vibrato actually controlled by your whole hand, it doesn't matter which finger you choose to play the note. Look, I fret a note with the index finger, middle finger, doesn't matter which finger I choose, it always sounds the same because the finger only holds the note and the vibrato comes out of your hand. And this way it's also very easy to play a string bending with vibrato. It's actually, yeah, it's a, it's a shake of, of the instrument and a shake of your hand. And also pulling works. And this is also the key for a chord vibrato. Imagine you would try to control that chord vibrato out of your fingers, then each finger would have to bend the string to the right amount. But if you only hold the notes and pull back your hand, you get a very straight and smooth vibrato. Finally, let me give you a concrete exercise to practice vibrato. First, you should get used to the kind of movement with your hand, that shaking movement and that shaking of the instrument. And then you can start to play note values. Start, for example, start with quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Then you can play um, eighth notes. One and two and three and four and... Eighth note triplets. When you train it this way, you make a connection between your vibrato technique and the timing. You know, timing, I find the most important thing. And that connection gives you so much control. You can also change the note values or the rhythm of your uh, vibrato within a note. You can do like this. One, two, three, four. Training a vibrato is not the most fancy thing to practice, like shredding licks or something like that, but it's absolutely necessary to bring beauty into your music. So take that seriously. That's my recommendation. This was it for today. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.